morning students how are you i think you all better now today i prepare one topic for especially for class 10 students the topic name is chemical reaction and equation before today i already uh, give the concept of chemistry so i think you all very well understand about that that one chapter so as for the today the chapter number 1 chemical reaction and equation so before going to understand the chemical reaction i think you all know about the present time 118 elements are there known today so these all 118 elements go for the reaction but out of 118 some are more reactive others are less and maximum are least reactive so more reactive elements or intermediate reaction uh, elements both are go for the stable state so they they go for the combine and form the different types of compound so now first of all we are going about the what do you mean by chemical reaction as for the process chemical reaction is a process in which two or more than two substances react with each other one another and produce new substance or substances with the new properties second definition may be possible sometime a particular elements already go for the reaction after heating so now a substance alone produce new substances with the new properties that is chemical reaction again i am already tried for you actually chemical reaction is the arrangement of atom and molecules so actually they go for the rearrangement and after rearrangement all the elements just change their property and the new substance form with the new properties so now i try to explain with the different examples as for the explanation of chemical reaction first one that is formation of h2 as you know for the formation of h2 i create two substances like hydrogen and oxygen and after combination with these two it's form water as a molecule in the form of liquid again hydrogen is a gaseous substance same as for oxygen is already gaseous both are combined and form the another with the new properties in its state is already changed that is its liquid as your knowledge hydrogen non metal having one electron both hydrogen their electrons combine with each other and form the single bond on the other hand nitrogen and oxygen is already go go for the double bond and after connecting these two now oxygen at the center atom and singly they combine with the hydrogen and form the water this is the process you can say that atoms and molecules rearrange and after rearrangement they form the new compound with the new properties this is the second again <coughs> examples for understanding better understanding the chemical reaction as for in our daily life we are not knowing about the common salt the formula is sodium chloride it is a combination of two that is sodium and chlorine you all know about the sodium it is very highly reactive so it is kept inside the kerosene oil if just come out from the kerosene oil so this is highly reactive with the oxygen atmospheric oxygen it is already reactive with the hydrogen so sodium highly reactive it is not used by us same as for the chlorine as for in the gaseous form but actually both are combined with each other and form the new substances that is sodium chloride and you all know about this substance is very common for us so i think you all know about the entire definition of chemical reaction so i am giving just time for 0.5 seconds now now again we are going about the chemical reaction it's had two parts 
before the reaction they are reacting and after the reaction that is product if any chemical reaction having the two parts reactant side and product side in between reactant and product there's one arrow arrow will indicate that chemical reaction is going on actually before the arrow that is reactant side after the arrow that is product side so any chemical reaction having two point two parts that is reactant and product about the reactant substance which is participating in a chemical reaction that is known for the reactant same as as for the product side the substance form in a chemical reaction that is product for your example when h2o2 react to each other it form the h2o so h2o2 we are consider as a reactant same as for the h2o as a product now about the chemical equation chemical equation when a chemical reaction is expressed in terms of symbol and formula chemical equation when a chemical reaction is expressed in terms of symbol and formula that is uh, that is used in the reactant side and product side so you can say that chemical equation is nothing it's only a combination of symbol and formula now we are knowing about the evidences or the characteristics of the chemical reaction how to know about the any particular reaction is going on we have at least five evidences five characteristics on the basis of these evidences we are knowing about the chemical reaction is going on first one evolution of the gas if any particular chemical reaction as for the example when zinc react with the h2so4 it's maybe dilute znso4 and hydrogen gas is evolved this is indicate the evolution of gas indicate that evolution of gas indicate that chemical reaction is going on same as for the formation of ppt ppt introduced as for the precipitate if any chemical reaction do both part partner that is reactant side after a, a very low come a low <coughs> low uh, compounds with the high compounds they are react to each other and they form a pre precipitation that is already a evidence for the chemical reaction is going on now the third color changes Color changes and state changes is already indicate that chemical reaction is going on. Another evidence is that it heat evolve, heat absorb and heat evolve. That is, it's already indicate that chemical reaction is going on. Now, after knowing about these two, we are now know about the what are the limitations of chemical equation. Chemical equation actually it does not give the idea about the formation of the <coughs> substance which is take part in chemical reaction it's not indicate the concentration of the reactant or product reactant side and it's not indicate the precipitation form that's all now we are go further now after knowing about the limitation of chemical reaction now we are knowing about the how to make a chemical reaction more informative as you know knowledge chemical reaction has a limitation but as for we are adding some letters it indicate that now chemical reaction is more informative the first example when carbon is react with oxygen it form the carbon dioxide so in a small bracket i am write on in s it indicate that carbon in solid state on the other hand oxygen with the g it indicate that the gaseous same as for the co2 that is gaseous so after writing s l g s l g represent solid liquid and gas and now in small brackets we are using this so we are familiar with the which reactant or which product in which state we are clear So, including with the heat evolved, uh, heat is produced, and the heat amount is ninety four point three 
kilo calories. Same as for the we are just taking the another example that is that is G when you get the stress support that is D I L diu it is already is that is indicate the solid so generation support we are just express in aqua aqua means water same as for the hydrogen gas that is in gaseous state so gaseous state gases is already indicate the upward direction of arrow indicate that gas is involved same as for the water as for it is in the liquid and after passing the electric current it is now converted into just H2 plus O2. H2 is gaseous state and O2 is already in gaseous form. This one indicates the reversible reaction. So you can say that double arrow is, is the symbol of the reversible reaction. Same as for the KCLO3 that is in solid state. After heating, this one indicates the heating, heating information and we are getting calcium chloride that is solid state and CO2 as for the gaseous state. So after putting some S and G include with the dilute or form, include with the aqua, aerosine, downward direct and that is precipitation indicate, these are the symbol after using in chemical reaction and now our chemical reaction becomes more informative. That's now we are knowing about the types of chemical reaction. That is first one combination reaction. Combination reaction is already known for the synthesis reaction. It means something is formed. We are just writing in the terms of A and B. A and B are the reacting part. After combined to each other, now A B is formed. The better example, all the metals when combined with the particular oxygen and form their compounds oxide form. So these are the example of combination reaction. Combination reaction sometimes is already known for the exothermic reaction and when oxygen is just added during the burning, that is combustion reaction is already in the so combination reaction that is synthesis reaction when any particular compound they are just combined to each other and form a single reaction it is already named for the exothermic and that is combustion reaction now for the second types of reaction that is decomposition reaction decomposition reaction in the terms of AB it is a particular single compound after heating now it is breakdown into part A and B A and B, it's already required for the energy that is it's known for the endothermic reaction. The better decomposition reaction is already known for the three types. First one is thermal decomposition, second one is photolytic and third one is electrolysis. So thermal decomposition reaction that is a, one example that is KClO3 after just giving the heat and it is just break down in two parts that is potassium, potassium chloride and oxygen gases form same as for the <coughs> that is photoelectric reaction when ADCL is already just decomposing after knowing about that that is ADCL after just finding the sun solar energy now it is break down in AG and CL2 Another electrolysis reaction that is when water, <coughs> water is now water is just giving the electrolysis electricity now it is from H2 plus O2 by a gaseous form. So you can say that the composition reaction a particular compound take part in the reaction and after giving the heat as for the solar energy as for the electricity now it decomposes in the different form so they are known for the decomposition reaction now we are going about the displacement reaction displacement reaction is already two types first one is single and second one is double it is already symbolized by the when A gets with the BX now A is considered as a highly reactive B is a compound with the less reactive so as for the combination they displace and just another a and AX and the B is formed, it means a one compound is formed and another is displaces. The better example G, 
which is reacted with that SpO4 hydrogen is less reacted with that G. Now zinc sulfate is formed with the hydrogen gas. Now double decomposition reaction. It is already formed for the AB plus XY. That is form A, Y, and X, B. We see that we get that when two different types of salt is combined to each other and now exchange their chemicals, so it forms the two different types of product. That is double decomposition reaction and the better example is neutralization reaction and precipitation reaction. Yes. Now we are knowing about the redox reaction. Redox reaction actually it is the father of all types of reaction. It means it inside the belonging to the redox reaction, combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction include with a single or double or are included with the redox reaction. And redox reaction actually it is the combination of two different types of reaction that is oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. One by one, we are knowing about the oxidation and reduction. First of all, we are knowing about the oxidation reaction. Actually, it is the combination of oxygen, same as for the removal of hydrogen. And or some reaction, there is no any involvement of oxygen and hydrogen. That this is students are now knowing how to identify whether a reaction is oxidation or reduction. So there is another method for knowing about the redox reaction that is loss of electrons or electron. But this one is already a limitation. Only those reaction is capable for explaining only the ionic type of reaction, ionic reaction. Uh, there is only loss and gain of the electron. But when the reaction is totally combined with the sharing of their electron, sharing of their electrons, so that one is not capable to explain the oxidation reaction. So another method for finding whether a reaction is oxidation or reaction, we are going about the increase in oxidation number. So as for the increased oxidation number from the reactant side and the product side, so that reaction is known for the oxidation reaction. On the other hand, we are knowing about the reduction reaction. Reduction just opposite of oxidation. Ox reduction is just opposite of the oxidation. That is combination of here is H2. H2 is already electropositive element. Some, sometimes double behavior that is electropositive or electronegative. And same as for the removal of O2, it means uh, it's in already indicate that electronegative element. Same as for the we are just opposite increase in uh, loss of electron that is oxidation. Here is gain of electron that is reduction. Now as for the increase in oxidation number that is increase the oxidation number on the other hand that is decrease in oxidation number. So according to these characteristics we are knowing about the whether a reaction is oxidation or reduction as for the combination of O2, removal of H2, loss of electron, increase in oxidation number that all include with the oxidation number. On the other hand, reduction reaction, combination of hydrogen, removal of oxygen, gain of electrons and increase in their oxidation number. Now, as for the oxidation reaction, it is required oxidizing, oxidizing agent. So the common substances will gain of electron that is oxidizing agent. It is just reverse of the oxidation reaction. Same as for the reduction reaction there is re reducing agent. It means substances which loss electron or electron that is reducing agent. Some common example of oxidation ox oxidizing agent that is oxygen, ozone, hydrogen peroxide that is nitric acid, uh, chlorine, KMnO4, potassium, uh, potassium permanganate and that is K2Cr2 potassium dicarbonate. It means these are the common oxidizing agent which is just coming in chemical reaction and go for the oxidizing agent. Here is some example of reducing agent that is uh, hydrogen as a gas, hydrogen sulfide, uh, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide uh, that is carbon, 
hydrogen iodide and HCl provide these are the basic example of reducing age. Now let's again just for understanding the oxidation and reduction reaction here is some various examples. First one is when sodium is reacted with the chlorine, it forms the sodium chloride. So in this one reaction, there is Cl2 already electronegative elements combined with the sodium. But here, here I am trying to explain the oxidation in all terms of uh, electronic fuel. As for the sodium, 281 and chlorine, 287. So after losing one electron from the sodium and gaining by the chlorine, and now forms the sodium chloride. So loss of electron that is oxidation and gain of electron that is reduction. So on the basis of electron, electronic theory, we are knowing about the oxidation and reduction. But there is limitation of the uh, understanding the oxidation and reduction only because this is only capable for those reactions there's ions are formed. But those reactions, there is no any gain or loss of electron that is not understand by the oxidation or reduction. So that case is we are going to about the another example that is formation of water. Actually, water the oxidation number of hydrogen is zero. Same as for the oxidation number of oxygen is already zero. But here is oxidation number of hydrogen is two, and there is oxidation number of oxygen is minus so as for the hydrogen where oxidation number is 0 and now after it becomes 0 to 2 so that is increase in their oxidation number or increase the oxidation number that is known for the oxidation same as for the is oxidation number of oxygen is 0 and it becomes the minus 2 so here is already decrease in the, their oxidation number or decreasing of oxidation number is already known for the reduction. Now, electronic theory is only capable for the pionic reaction. Here is sharing of electron and we are knowing understand about the reduction that is oxidation number. Now, one another example that is for the class in spirits that is zinc oxide. Zinc oxide considered as a base. Metal, metallic zinc that is basic in nature when it is reacted with the HCl that is hydrochloric acid that is you can say that when base and acid react to each other form their salt and water it is already a neutralization reaction 